belly busting exercises. You can't go past a plank. Full body exercise, but really focusing on abdominal engagement and connection, as well as shoulder stability and a little bit of glute and thigh work there as well. There are a couple of ways you can do your plank, depending on uh, your own preference and your own, um, I guess, shoulder stability and um, if you've got any injuries in the neck and shoulder area. The first way is down on the elbows and forearms. You can either come back onto your knees here, making sure you have one line from the knees through to the shoulders, or you can come onto your toes, so that full hover position. If you prefer, you can do your plank on your hands. Once again, on the knees, so dropping the hips, you've got one line from the crown of the head to the knees, or coming up onto the toes. So just picking your level, and if you're not quite at the level to hold a plank on your toes, you can start on the knees and slowly progress up. I find that if you're on your elbows and forearms for your plank, you tend to require a lot more strength and stability work in the middle of the back and the shoulders. Whereas if you come up onto the hands, you take more pressure through your chest. So it really depends if you do have any neck or shoulder tension, probably I would advise doing the plank on the hands just to release some of that out of the way for you. Side planks, number two. Once again, a couple of ways you can do your side plank. Level one option would be elbow, under shoulder, bottom knee bent and extending that top leg out and then lifting the hips and the waist away from the floor. So we're not sinking down too low, really think of lifting, like you're forming a triangle with the floor. A level two, take that top foot forward and then lift up onto that back leg, so a split stance. And then level three, we stack the feet one on top of the other, making sure we're not rolling that shoulder forward. Keep it nice and open, so shoulders in line and the elbow in line there. Take it up a notch, you can extend that top arm. Next, we come down onto our back. This is an excellent exercise for your lower abdominals, the double leg lowers. Some people with lower back tension pain may find that placing their hands underneath their tailbone for this exercise can help them maintain their lower back support. So really thinking of pressing that lower back down into the mat and extending the legs to the ceiling. From here, you're just going to lower the legs as far as you can without that lower back starting to lift. So as the legs lower towards the floor, really think of the belly button drawing into the spine and then exhale to bring them back up just over the top of the hips. Your range of movement may be quite small to start with, that's okay. Every time you do the exercise, you can challenge yourself to get progressively lower. Exercise number four is the double leg stretch. Once again, we're on our backs and we're pressing that lower back down into the floor. We call this our imprinted spine. Setting up by curling yourself up into a ball. Now you can, if you have neck or shoulder tension, keep your head resting down on the floor. That's absolutely fine. From this ball position, we inhale to extend the arms and legs nice and long. Exhale, sweep around and draw the knees back into the chest. It's an inhale to extend long, hands in line with your ears, no further back behind the head. Exhale, round it through. If the arms going overhead encourages your lower back to start to arch, just keep the hands resting and reaching past the hips, just going for that double leg extension without the arms. Final exercise is my favorite. It's the crisscross, working the obliques, working into that waistline. Bring the fingertips behind the ears and open the elbows out wide here. Once again, that lower back presses down, tabletop position with the legs, which means the knees are over the hips and the shins are parallel to the floor. Take a breath in, draw that belly button to the spine, exhale, lift the head and shoulders, rotate to one side, and extend that free leg. You're rotating to the bent knee. Inhale, lower back down, other side. Exhale, lift, rotate, extend. And inhale, lower back down. Trying to focus on keeping the elbows wide, opposite shoulder moves across the body rather than the elbow. So keep that chest open, lowering down. The lower the leg goes to the floor, the more intense the workout 
the higher towards the ceiling, the less intense. Try and do those exercises three times a week and I guarantee you will start to see the slimming, tightening and toning of the waistline. <laughs>